Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. If you just joined the Call of Dragons, it's a newest thing which is called Home Realms. Uh, basically, every alliance can choose the server which we want to be the home server. And anytime throughout the game, throughout the season, uh, you will be able to go back to your home realm and do stuff there. It's a newest addition to the game. Uh, people are still figuring out. So I discovered that I can show and share some uh, tips and tricks which will be helpful for new players or even some some old players who doesn't have a time to read the patch notes and to understand what in general home realms does and how it will affect the game this video will be about the tips and the tricks which you will be able to do in the home realm so you will be successful in your future seasons uh, basically whenever you start the home realm there is no reset there is nothing scrapped every single level of your heroes is same the server is on a season one which means basically there is some stuff which is not available for currently like for example in warpets we don't have snow we don't have like night rock we don't have brewing bear now basically we are going back to season one and every single alliance will be making their servers home server and behind the idea of the home server is that you will be able to farm you will be able to play with your friends it's your choice and i'm pretty happy that developers of the game is uh, giving us the choice to play with whoever we want of course if you want to war to fight you will be able to transfer to the server where where we will be a lot of fights and any time anywhere you will be able to come back to your home server number one trick which i will be gladly to tell you what to do whenever you start your season to your uh, home server go to your scouting building and click on the map progress i already gathered uh, every single gems here basically if you have not done this you will have a, a red circles click on the red circle you will see here claim and you will be able to claim some gems some speed ups uh, which of course especially for free to play players is really useful every single gem which you can get uh, in this game for free is really really valuable so if you just started your season to your uh, home server uh, go to your scouting uh, building and claim your gems uh, it's one time thing i think um, once you will be able to claim every single territory um, like story you will be able to get gems and some uh, rewards yeah for sure like 50 gems uh, two two hour speed ups some gold some wood and of course like uh, every single territory in this map will be able to give you some uh, cool benefits which is of course like most valuable here is gems other than that in my opinion one of the best ways to utilize home server is to farm uh, treaties right the best way for farming treaties is rallying the forts uh, what's most important about uh, home server is that there is nothing scrapped it's not reset uh, that's we need to say that even more because sometimes uh, like whenever people are seeing that something new is coming out and depending on server at first even i thought that it was reset but it's not reset uh, every single hero level is the same uh, which means uh, the potions for the command points are staying here basically home server will be allowing us to farm more to farm treaties and as soon as you start your server uh, to your home kingdom to your home server try to run as much forts as possible because uh, without running forts you won't be able to upgrade your rally building and in order for everybody to uh, like unlock tier 5 units you will you you have to have a uh, rally building to 25 basically that's what my alliance have been doing since the first second of the home realm uh, right so like that's the best opportunity to run some forts because in general on the map darklings are low level like for example here 21 level darklings won't gonna give you much experience uh, and the best way for you to utilize your command points is to just run forts uh, simply because forts will be able to give you some treaties like i understand like one treaty is a bad luck but sometimes you will get three uh, sometimes you will get five sometimes you might get some gems and also some resources 
and some arcana dust is always great idea to have and with some speed ups so in my opinion whenever you're gonna start home realm just speed run your forts it will allow you to get the blessing chest higher and from the blessing chest of course 24 hour speed up is the amazing reward which you can get also one of the most important things whenever you're gonna go to home realm uh, basically your alliance will be starting without no territory uh, you have to put your fortress you have to start building towards behemoths and in general in home realm behemoths are most important thing uh, one if you don't have any frame uh, ask your alliance to run behemoths elite ones because that's the main point of home realm i guess because there is a lot of behemoths which you will be able to get and of course by just capturing the behemoths you will be able to get like first um like capturing rewards which is like eight or six hundred gems some teleportation scrolls and i understand for every to play players uh spending gems on teleportation uh, scroll is like baddest thing to do so in whole realms you will be able to get as much uh, teleportation scrolls as possible because as you can see how many behemoths are here available right uh, for example i had uh, zero teleportation scrolls and today my my kingdom went to home realm and i already have four for example i had like 700 gems and by just killing behemoths and getting rewards and i have 5000 gems in terms of strengths of the behemoths these behemoths are from season one and basically any alliance will be able to melt normal ones so it's simply easiest thing to do also you don't even have to be inside the behemoth pit uh, simply if you are in your alliance and your alliance is taking the behemoths you will be able to get uh, your rewards for example i can show you it by myself like my alliance took couple of behemoths uh, if i will be able to see the report uh, and i got the rewards uh, which um, which is amazing for example as i have mentioned i had like 700 gems only whenever i entered in this uh, home realm and uh, right now i have like 5000 for example i did not even participate in necro giant and simply because my alliance took it i got 1000 gem i got one territorial location a lot of speed ups and of course some resources so basically in my opinion the most amazing way to utilize the home realm is to uh, collect as much behemoths as possible to get as much gems as much speed ups teleportation scrolls and of course if you like to have some uh, frames uh, on your avatar without for, without killing elite ones you won't gonna be able to get frames so these behemoths are season one behemoths it will be easy to get frames uh, by killing the elite behemoths so uh, for every free to play player who wasn't able to get frame um, i'm happy for you i'm happy for myself it's amazing opportunity to get more and more uh, behemoths frames like depending whichever you want other than that what you can do like that was my like third tip what you can do on your uh, home realm the first tip would be like simply try to use every single um like um, tactics manual because as i mentioned whenever you are teleported to your home realm nothing is scrapped and basically whenever you're gonna see this is uh, a great re revival uh 20 days 11 days 11 days uh, after this will be gone the reset will hit and you're gonna start your season to the next season after the season will be uh, starting everything which we are already familiar with by scrapping the reset of the season will happen so basically my advice would be to use every single experience book to level up every single hero to 30 uh, that's the latest update uh, regarding like levels of the heroes like uh, we know some uh teases that um, heroes levels might not decrease but still what i know uh, for sure is that if your level of your hero is 30 it won't gonna go to the zero level so try to upgrade every single uh, hero's level to 30 so it will at least start there other than that um, i'm not sure like for example in my home realm i don't have any enemies around the map uh, if you did same and your alliance has no enemies uh, on their home realm well congratulations you will be able to get a lot of behemoths a lot of gems and you will be able to prepare yourself for your future uh, basically the whole idea in my opinion behind the 
home realms are that it's a place where you can play with your friends with your favorite favorite people favorite players and you will be able to just just uh, simply farm freely uh, run forts uh, get as much treaties as possible uh, get behemoths get frames uh, basically it's just a normal mode of call of dragons that's how i see it uh, there is no enemies uh, at least at my kingdom at, at least at my home server maybe it is at yours uh, depending on the reality depending on how many alliances teleported to home realm but uh, in my opinion almost every single alliance should be feeling more safe in the home realm uh, i understand for some players there is another tip whenever something new comes out there is a lot of confusion like it feels like you are starting game from this scratch from the zero but it's not like that uh, basically like uh, developers of the game gave us the ability and opportunity to play with whoever we want it's totally free um, by just choosing once uh, either you know if you want to change your home realm it will be costly uh, but why uh, you should cost um, something else whenever there is free choose the home realm wisely understand uh, the safest place for you and then make the decision in general i think um, this is very good news for the call of dragons because every single new season um, people were migrating uh, people were like people were los losing their friends the players where they wanted to play and finally we have opportunity to play with whoever we want and in general i like um, in the game that the player has the ability to choose uh, in what direction uh, they want to go. Now, in terms of warpets, there is another tip um, I would not recommend to concentrate on warpets because, as I have mentioned, uh, there is no night rock around the map. There is no shadow of air drake uh, and like a couple of more warpets. So, like. Um, betting on capturing warpets and getting high skill it's not that good of an idea like the warpets and darklings are really really low level they will give you almost zero experience if you are looking for experience that's another tip don't focus on the darklings don't focus on the beasts uh, focus on the forts also the last tip which i will be granting to you guys uh, to understand the home realm and how to utilize it i have mentioned many many times uh, farm gems farming in this uh, home realm is the easiest thing because you are feeling safest uh, there is not a lot of people who are contesting the gems mines or any other farming material so basically all you need to do uh, whenever you're gonna start in home realm to run forts farm resources if you are lacking some resources or farm gems uh, as I mentioned, farm behemoths, get gems, get teleportation scrolls, and uh, like more scrolls you will have, it will be useful for yourself for your future wars. Basically, that's the, the first day impression uh, of the home realm. Uh, if uh, things will change and I will see that there is a lot more in terms of home realm than I have mentioned in this video. Of course, I'm gonna make another video about that, but so far, uh, since the playing the home realm, mean like one whole day that's the idea i got i was pretty surprised how much gems i got by just killing behemoths and just farming and building uh, so basically uh, this is the whole idea of the home realm like especially you don't have any weekly uh, quests you don't have any battle pass rewards so basically home realm is to just play with your friends uh, chill uh, and uh, like farm and get the resources and items that is necessary for your progression there is nothing uh, about war in this place it's a peaceful place it's like a heaven uh, everybody is friendly everybody is getting the rewards everybody is having fun basically like um, whenever we're gonna be teleported to the fighting kingdoms and to the reset and new season home realm will be safe place anytime you will be able to teleport back and maybe you are busy at your real life and you don't have time to check call of dragons during wars and you are afraid that you are getting burned you will be just simply teleporting back to your home realm and you will be uh, safe and nobody will be able to burn your city uh, so far i think it's a great addition uh, time will tell more but anything which gonna give me more gems uh, for free uh, is amazing that's like uh, 
if I'm only gonna mention anything else and uh, only like getting frames and getting behemoth kills uh, and getting gems and teleportation scrolls, that's already enough for me to understand that Home Realm is pretty epic. Now, of course, like in Home Realm, you will have some friendly alliances, uh, which will be, of course, friendly because I'm not sure if uh, the idea will be amazing if you will start fighting with anybody on your Home Realm. Uh, so far, that's my personal view uh, from the playing the Home Realm scene for the one day. Of course, your ideas and your opinions are always welcome on this channel. Now, share your opinion. Tell me what do you think about this new edition. And of course, we're going to have a discussion. Uh, so far this is my review about one day playing to home realm uh, i hope everybody likes the home realm realm update and in general call of dragons and in general my channel if you do press like subscribe share it always gives me more and more motivation to make more content for this game now i hope everybody will have an amazing day morning or night wherever you are we are going to see each other very very soon bye bye and good luck